All the houses in this neighborhood are pretty similar, but the people who live in them, they're unique. Hi, I'm David Sharnkoff with Lowe's Creative Ideas. We've transformed this space from a hot, plain-looking yard to a beautiful garden where Charlotte can entertain, enjoy her passion for cooking, or kick back and relax in comfort. We made it all happen with a little help from Lowe's and some unexpected creative ideas. Let's take a look at where it all began. I love entertaining, and I love cooking, and I love having friends and folks over. Charlotte asked me if there's a way where she could get a little shade, add some color, some scent to the garden, and if there was something we could do to really reconfigure the patio so that she could use it for entertaining or even just to sit outside with a book. This is the yard, Leslie. It's a good size yard, but I'd like to personalize it a little bit more, make it more my space. When I came back with Charlotte after our initial meeting, I actually put together kind of a plan and a mood board with some inspiration shots and some actual product shots as well. We had elevations, we drew out a plan of really how the whole yard would lay out. I kind of like that brick tone. That the red, red terracotta color is really great. I think it'll look good with the gray on the siding. I think it's a great time to emphasize the importance of having a clear plan of progression on any outdoor project. I agree. You know, it's a really good idea to start with the heavy lifting mm -hmm. first. Lay in your patio, your wall. Exactly. And you know, if you need help, there's so many experts out there. We turned to our landscape guru, Scott, who had great ideas of what would work really well here for Sharla. The grass, it's really not necessary here. It's kind of a wasted space. If it's going to be used for a path, we probably ought to get some pavers down sure. here. Sure. Is that feeling they're right working, to you? Yeah, they're working very well together. I like the redness that I see here mm -hmm. in the Nandina and picking up some of that in the pavers. A patio can breathe a whole new life to a backyard, and you don't even have to be a pro to tackle the project. In fact, you can watch a how-to video at Lowe's.com to get started. Lowe's has project calculators, so you can be sure to order just the right amount of materials, and they'll all be delivered right to your door. That means you can have much more fun spending your time planning and designing the space. Without the light, we could treat, you know, look at some yeah. sconces and yeah, get some more ambient great. lighting. Yeah, have sort of a, light. a secluded little sanctuary out here. So, David, come on yeah. back. I want to show you how our lighting plan came together out here. Well, and we always talk about the layered lighting. You've got the ambient, you've got the right. task lighting. What's right. your take out here? I think it's just as important to have a lighting plan outside as inside. Mm -hmm. So, we started with a bunch of path lighting here. It shows that pretty copper. It's beautiful. It really ties everything together. Don't you think? Uh -huh. We carried it up here in a big way. These weren't on the original plan. Exactly, David. Originally, we were going to put a sconce over here uh -huh. on the and I just decided Charlotte needed a little more light outside, and I love the size and scale of these, and using the copper kind of tied back into the rest of the plant. Now, this looks like an indoor lamp, but it isn't. It does, but you know what? It's an outside lamp. It's rated for outside use, so it's cozy for the inside, but, it's, it, but it works outside. Well, and I love the color of the shade. It ties with the chairs. Really good. So I think it came together. So outside, there's plenty of lighting for a party. And right, perfect. These are fantastic. You know, they look like they could work inside, but they're completely weatherproof. You know, we always talk about bringing the outside in, but you brought the inside out. Sure did. This is great. Why not be as comfortable outside as we are inside? I and love it. Why not let it look as good? I mean, look at this furniture. It's beautiful and all weather, and there's so many fabrics and colors and styles to pick from. This is great. It's pretty swell, huh? Really good, really good. And then there are all sorts of plan ideas that you and I and Scott have been looking for. You know, we talked about gardenias and having that really pretty oh, scent wafting in out your bedroom window. The plants you picked out are really cool. How do you choose what type to plant? Well, I'm big on research. I think it's important to do as much as you can. Books, magazines, you know, even going online and getting a sense of what you think you want to do. When you're ready, hop in the car, take a trip to Lowe's, <laughs> and lay some of these plants out here and, and put them together and, and see if it really feels like it works. What are these up front? Oh, those are sweet, William. Aren't they sweet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are, actually. It'd be great to get some shade back here. There's absolutely yeah. none. And a lot of these houses, they don't plant many trees, though. We could give her some evergreens along the back to give her that mm -hmm. privacy. Maybe something that blooms like a crepe myrtle. One thing homeowners often overlook is soil quality. Certain soils can be more acidic than others, and some plants may fail or thrive as a result. But we planned ahead and purchased a soil test kit from Lowe's. Don't forget, fall or early spring is really the best time to test. Be nice to soften up this foundation a little bit. We were talking about some scent. Well, there's a shrub called a tea olive. It's got a real great fragrance, too. We could do both of those over there along the house. Doing a landscape project like this is really a great investment. It's something people can enjoy right now, but when they go to sell their home, it really sets them apart. David, let me show you all the fun things we came up with at the last minute. Like this sign. It's made out of chalkboard paint, so you can leave a message. This is so great. Let me guess. This is for turning it around? Exactly. If it cooks in tonight, tomorrow night she might not be. <laughs> I love the moss. Isn't that pretty? You know, these special touches really make a place personal. I think it really feels like Charla. Well, I think you definitely achieved that. Yeah, some herbs and flowers. Let's see what we did over here. That's a great topiary. Isn't it fun? We actually bought this at Lowe's, but if you'd rather make one, there are plans online. Yeah, that's a really unique touch. I always like the little ideas that pop up along the way. 
I think it's so important to keep thinking creatively all the way through the project. Totally agree. I mean, this place looks fantastic, <laughs> and it totally feels like Charlotte's. It does feel like Charlotte's. Charlotte's Garden is ready for great dinner parties or relaxing mornings in the patio. The results really speak for themselves. With a little work and some creative ideas from Lowe's, Charlotte's backyard is her own paradise. Lowe's Creative Ideas is about you and projects like these. To find out more, go to Lowe'sCreativeIdeas.com. And while you're there, subscribe to our free magazine. I'm ecstatic. I love it.